Okay, welcome back to another apartment tour in Houston. This one was a strong contender in my decision making when I thought I was going to move back. I really, really like the open layout and the max that they had on display. It was not crazy about the red theme though, but they kept it going even in the gym area as you can see here, which I thought was a pretty ample size. They had a lot of stuff in there for whatever type of workout you wanted to do. I really like the Echelon Reflect. It's more of like a mirror, it's a spinoff on the mirror device. And then they also have these bikes that have screens on there so you can just really go to work. I really like they have different like heights. And then this one, I don't know what, what it's called. I'm not really a big gym equipment person, but if you know, you know. I like that little decor piece they had in the middle. That was a pretty cool vibe. And then they had treadmills, of course. And then all that boxing equipment. They had weightlifting. Pretty much anything that you want to do, they had. Outside of that, it's a sitting area to, you know, reflect, have a coffee, maybe relax after the gym. It's whatever you want to do. And then they also have this conference room area and the uh, refrigerator lockers as well as the mailboxes and the Luxor packages for like Amazon or FedEx or UPS. This was the outside of the conference room area when we were trying to get in. And there's like the woman, the men restroom. She's trying to wave it down, it's not working, but I really like the feature, so I thought I'd zoom in for you guys. I thought that was cool. And now is this is the first floor plan. It's the largest two bedroom that we viewed first. I really like the use of space on the closet with the washer and dryer on one side and the shelf on the other. Now we're in the master ensuite. It looks like a queen size as well as night lamps, so it's okay size. And now we have the closet in here. And we also have the bathroom. Wasn't crazy about the uh, countertops, but I really like the tile that they chose. It's a great color. And now we're in the cozy living room area that spans off into the kitchen. I was not crazy about the refrigerator or the electric cook stove thing but i like the wrap around windows that they had going on that's a lot of natural lighting you could set up like an office if you don't want a dining table it's really nice i also like the two sink things i know that's i'm weird but also the island was nice as a good size now we're going into the patio because i wanted to see what it would be like sitting out there although houston gets really humid and you don't really get a lot of patio time in my personal opinion but i still wanted to have a look and out there it looks a little different on the first floor they have this situation going it's very narrow and now we are into the second bathroom which would be the guest and this is also the guest bedroom and then we have the closet space so again it would be cute for an office or whatever studio whatever you want to set up uh there's enough size now we're going to look at the next floor plan and this is the one bedroom the largest one that they had this kitchen was huge mongus and you guys will see when i zoom out later on but um it's enough to put your own like makeshift island for sure this one still had the same um, fittings that the two bedroom had. It's just missing the extra bedroom. I like the cozy living room situation. It also had the patio, but again, first floor. So you don't have the rails. You have the little rocks outside. Um, that's not my personal preference, but I still like the way this layout kind of flowed. Um, now we're going to go into the room just to see what that looks like. And again, I love that the, the closet is separate from the bathroom. Nice large windows to get you some good natural lighting. Um, same size closet for the most part. It seemed a tiny bigger than the uh, two bedroom, but that one you have two closets, so. And this is the bathroom. So standard, very similar to the very first one. Same tile, same everything that they, u that they use for the most part. Um, and it's nice to see it with furniture in it just to kind of get a vibe of what you would have space for. And this is when I realized I could zoom out. So I'm giving you guys a tour from scratch so enjoy <laughs>
we are in the floor plan that she said I would like the most, and this was the B3. It was the second to the largest floor plan, or second to the smallest, rather. Um, I really, really liked the the windows. Like, she already knew I was coming from Vegas, so she was like, oh, you're going to love it. And I did, but I immediately noticed when we walked in, it felt like the room caved in on me, and that's because she admitted that the entrance was um, a little bit, like, concave, if that's the right word. Um, so it does take away from that open feeling when you very first walk. But for someone who likes a pool view, this one was really nice. Uh, you get to pretty much see that area that we were at outside of the gym and then look a little bit further out, you'll see the pool. I'm not crazy about this view because I really don't want the sun beaming on me. Like anywhere you set your sofa, you're going to have the sun hitting you. So it was not really my personal preference. Um, but now I wanted to go look at the um, bedroom. Okay, yeah, so same video, um, same windows rather. It looks like there'd be eno enough space for like a queen in here. And then the closet space was a little bit smaller in my personal opinion. And then uh, the restroom. So uh, the restroom was about the same size as the first one bedroom. Now we are in the B1 floor plan. This was pretty much the B3, but a little bit smaller and um instead of shades it's blinds i think that's that would be the difference they did blackout blinds on those ones and then this one's shades and it's smaller so it just depends on what your personal preference is she did say she didn't know how often they were going to be cleaning the shades um cleaning the windows so if that's something that would bother you like me then the b3 wouldn't be for you anyway so now we are looking at the closet I don't know if it's just me, but it looks bigger bigger than the B3. It looks like you have a little more rails to work with to hang your stuff on, but maybe I'm just saying that. Um, I don't know what my sister was like exclaiming about in this moment, but the bathroom is the bathroom, just like the others. So now that I'm watching it back, I actually feel like if you want a cute uh, one bedroom that's not in necessarily a studio, then a B1 is actually your best bet. But what are your thoughts? I wanna know what was your favorite floor plan and would you live here?